the story of Manuel. I was filming an album cover for a singer from Georgia in New York, and I was saying how much I love country music. And the PR company were working with Manuel at the time, and they said, would you like to meet the most famous man you've never heard of? And they flew me to Nashville for five days, which essentially was Manuel deciding whether he would do a book with me on his work. It was a great honour, but I didn't realise this. I just thought there was this really interesting, philosophical, elderly Mexican who made clothes. I think it's great. That one. I was at a bar and Colonel Parker approached me at the bar and says, you're the guy that makes all these suits. He says, you know, I have a kid that is worth a million dollars. His name was Elvis Presley. And I would like you to make clothes for my client, for my protege. And then the story sort of unfolds in front of you. And some of the stories you just think this is improbable, if not a downright lie. And then you find out, oh, there he, there he is with John Lennon in that photo. Or, oh, there's Elvis. And so you start to think, okay, maybe, there, maybe this is true. came to America having learned how to make his own clothes, which he does to this day, he managed to fall in, in Hollywood with the Rat Pack and even Salvador Dali in the early days, and then made the Sgt. Pepper's jackets for the Beatles, Elvis's black comeback suit in 1968, Bob Dylan when he meets the Pope twice, both times he's wearing a Manuel suit. Manuel made this for me because he's the man who put Johnny Cash in black. I got the Beatles, and then, and then I got the Rolling Stones, consequently, after. I did the first black total outfit for, uh, for John Lennon. The Rolling Stones were close, but not as close as John was to me, because we could talk, philosophy about a lot of things, and he was good at that. I mean, he, and the same with George. Up until Madonna, the White Stripes. He essentially covers a century of American iconography. I am one of those people that don't like really the money or the power of money. I learned that as a young man. I be empowered by who I am. I just want to be remembered as a person that did something good. If a PR company had got their hands on him earlier, he'd be a designer and there'd be brands, but he isn't. He's a tailor who has managed to avoid all that by just being himself and being deeply philosophical about the process of working with what he loves, which is material for clients who happen to be famous. the story of the American dream, and he will say that. He'd had loads of photographers asking him to do this, and he'd said no every time, so it was quite an honor. Um, and I'm now seven years into his endless list of clients. I've seen people come in and talk to him and get sound bites, and I've realized that isn't the, even the tip of the iceberg. Well, well, well. Thanks for everything. All they do is they come in and they ask about the most famous person he last dressed and he gives them the soundbite and they leave and they're missing it.